thank you all uh, for joining in class today. I appreciate and uh, today we will talk about different software testing technologies. Means how different type of testing can be carried out using SCP or any technology for that matter. So, so we talk about some of the concepts of testing. So testing is basically the process of verification. In testing we are verifying whether this application, this software, this code, this program which we have developed is working to the expectations or not. So in oversimplification, testing is basically matching our business requirements with the software functionality. Making sure software perform functions which are which are expected from the software. When we talk about the testing, I would like you guys to make a note of the second paragraph. Please make a note of the second paragraph. Testing is an activity aimed at evaluating an attribute or capability of a program or system and determining that it meets its required results. Make a note of this definition. This basically tells the entire purpose of testing is to making sure that program and application does what is expected from business requirement perspective and it also perform or it should not perform what it it is not supposed to perform so both positive and negative both so it should do what it is expected to do and it should not do what it is expected not to do. So both. I'm here in the office. Oh. So in the testing can be tested anytime 
there is no challenge or issue that when testing could be and should be done but testing should be done when we have defined the requirement and after the requirement definitions the programming has been done so we got the requirements and after the requirements we have done the coding we have written the program and with these two in the place we can and after these two steps has been done then we should do testing so testing process involve any kind of software failures means if this software doesn't work not meeting the requirement not meeting to the expectations they might have any defect and making sure that during the process those defects has been uncovered and those um, defects are corrected so those defects are uncovered and those defects has been uncovered testing is not to define the business requirement in all condition but to make sure that it works under specific expectations softwares are not written with the global parameters testing is done under certain specific expectations and only then this program will work So these are some of the terminologies, uh, debugging, demonstration of the software, destruction of the software, evaluation of the software, prevention of the problems. So these are some of the terminologies which has been used. Debugging, demoising, restrictions, evaluation and prevention. Bugs. I would like you guys to make a note of the bugs. What is the bug? Make a note. Make a note. Give me a second, guys.
Hello? Yeah, so why you don't have a uh, invite for the class today? Why, do you, why, why you don't know? I, I, I ping you that there is a class at 1.30. You didn't send me the ID, so you didn't send me or it was 1.30. No, no, but it seems like uh, you are just, you know, either an unfocused person. Means you have a class 1.30. I told this yesterday. I, I even pinged you yesterday. There is a class 1.30. Why you didn't ensure that you don't have an invite? Class already gone past 14 minutes. I'm in the middle of the class and now you're asking for that. Means you have no uh, uh, pre-thinking. You have no uh, attention to detail at all. I don't understand this. I'm sorry. I I I I told you that and, and I ask you the, for the, everything you get in touch with Mansi, right? Did you get in touch with Mansi? Did you got the detail? She sent invite to everyone. No, I I ask you to get in touch with the Mansi. She she work at four thirty. She don't even work right now. I will give you ID for today, but what I'm telling you is, I'm giving you feedback. Whatever I've seen so far, you're very, you're not proactive at all. You're very reactive. You're not focused in my mind. I'm sorry, it means you have a class and you don't have an, I told you, like, get in touch with the Mansi. You were asking recording and material and all that. Say, so talk to Mansi, get in touch. You have no idea who Mansi is. It means working from last week. What time she works? What is her work IDs? You are working with me, you are taking it casually, I have this Dilip Shah, I will do it. I, I means I am middle of class. Means uh, how you expect a person who is middle class for 15 people and then I am talking to you. This is disrespect for the 15 people on the phone. I never pick up a call mostly. Unless I say. So, so but, no, but you need to change. I am giving you feedback. Make a note of the access code please. 409. 503-181. Oh, thanks. Hello. Guys, I'm back now. <clears throat> so, bugs. Bugs is a very common term which is being used uh, in case of uh, testing uh, environment and testing scenarios. Uh, bug basically means uh, it is pertaining to a uh, a defect is a mistake, is a flaw, a problem, uh, and if its system and program is not working for some reason, that is called a bug. And it's a very common term which is being used in the testing program. Now debugging, I will also like you guys to make a note of the word debugging. Debugging is a process of finding bug and fixing those bugs. So bug is an issue, a defect, a fault, and debugging is the process of finding those bugs and fixing those bugs. Yes. Okay, sure, no problem, thanks. Bye. So bugs and debugging. So bug is a defect and debugging is a process of finding, finding those bugs and then fixing those bugs. Another term which we need to understand, which we need to know, now, some of these terms which we are going to talk, they are very commonly used in the, in the real world. So, therefore, a lot of these terms which I am talking today are very applicable in any kind of role we do, whether it's an SAP, whether it's in BA, whatever that is. And one of that term is test cases. 
what is the test case? So test case is a set of conditions which I highlighted. Make a note of that term, test case. What is the test case? Okay. Make a note of this paragraph please. Test case Test case is a conditions, set of conditions under which an application is tested. Give me a second guys. So test case is a conditions, situation, variables, parameters under which a program should work. For example, if I if we take an example often from the real world, if I'm creating a uh, sales order on Amazon.com so the test case is that I am able to create a sales order. So ability to create a sales order is a test case. And that test case is being done in specific situations in specific circumstances. Now, test case could be positive and could be negative. So make a note of that. Test case could be positive and could be negative, both. Now what is positive and negative test case? Now positive test case basically means Under what conditions, so for example, I, we took an example that we can create a sales order in Amazon.com. So our ability to create sales order on Amazon.com is a positive test case. Now the sales order and what it could be an example of a negative test. So I would like you guys to make a note of that term called positive test and negative test. Now what could be an example of a negative test? Negative test basically means when we are not able to do a particular transaction in certain situations. So for example, let's take a sales order 
of Amazon.com. So the negative test would be that I should not be able to create a sales order unless I have an account that is negative means I am not able to do a sales order because I do not have an account. So positive test and negative test. So the important message here is we need to identify test cases making sure and the, the ground rule of identifying test cases is that when we are identifying test cases all business requirement should have been covered. That is an example of a test case. Now test case could be positive and it could be negative. So it could be either. So positive test, negative test. Test plan. Make a note of this document called test plan. Now test plan is a strategic document. Make a note of this term. Test plan is a strategic document. Test plan is an approach document. Is a strategic document and it is a approach document. That approach document tells me how we're going to identify test cases, how many what is our criteria of a positive test and negative test? How we are identifying master data? What is our who gonna test it? What are the timeline? What is our process of fixing the bugs? What is the SLA? All that information goes into this document which is called test plan. So test plan is a strategic document which consists of all this information in it. So make a note of this term called test plan. Now let's talk about uh, different testing methods. And then certain terms. These are some of the important terms and uh, they are being used in all different kind of a technologies whether it's SAP or non-SAP or whatever. So we need to understand what these terms basically means. So the first is a black box testing. So I would like you guys to make a note of the black box testing. black box testing. Now black box testing and I would like you guys to make a note of the second bullet point which I highlighted. Second bullet point which I highlighted. Black box testing is done by the individual who do not have much idea about software. They don't know what software is. They never use that software. They never worked in the software. They understand business requirements. 
business expectations. They do not understand what this software is consists of. Software tester could be positive, means verifying what system can do, and, and tester's approach can also be negative, which basically means what all this software should not do. So positive test and negative test. Test cases also talk about the requirement. Test cases should also talk about performance. So we have to verify the performance of the system, means whether 10 people can do or not. Security means uh, making sure the people with certain authorization and only those people can do. Reliability, that basically means system should be reliable and there could be certain specific reliability parameters. It should go and meet certain business functions. Those business requirements should be there in that. Okay. Black box texting. Now next one is white box texting. Make a note of this term called white law testing. Uh, Landry, I'm in the class right now. Yeah, yeah. I will uh, give me call after half an hour, please. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Okay. White box testing. So, white box texting is done by the the people who knows the program, people who know the software, people who know the applications, which basically could be programmers, could be developers, coders, configurators, because they know the system. And uh, normally whiteboard texting is done by the coders or programmers or developers to verify whether there is not any coding issues. The performance of the program is good. Program has been written with the best programming standards. Programming also have uh, standards and programming has to meet those standards as well. An objective is to do unit test. I would like you guys to make a note of that term. They are, they are used synonym, unit test, API. API means application programming interface. Okay. These are some of the terms. A static test means we are running this program in certain static master data conditions with this customer and that material. Fault injection. We are putting some fault, putting some breakpoint, passing some data which is intentionally incorrect. And then we are understanding the behavior of the system. These are some of the terms which we need to understand. So we talk about there is a black box testing and we talked about there is a white box testing. Black box testing is done by the people who don't know the system, but they understand the business requirement. White box testing is done by the people who basically understand the program, they understand the code very well. Another one is gray box. Gray box. Gray box involve both. It involve black box, involve white box label. Now black box label and white box label basically means, so when we talk of the black box in that we are verifying performance, we are verifying performance, we are verifying security, we are verifying reliability. That is, that is what we are doing in black box testing. In the white box testing, 
that is done by the testers. And those testers are basically verifying where the program is working fine, where the code is written, and making sure the codification the standards are perfect. Configuration has been done right. The nomenclature is correct, etc. Gray box involve both parameters, which is the parameter of white box and the parameter of black. So both parameters are involved. So it then we identify different test cases. You also look into database, look into user interface, and you also see system to system integration. I would like you guys to make a note of this term called system to system integration. System to system integration. Now what is the meaning of the system to system integration? System to system integration basically means I'm using for example let us say application 1. Application 1 is SAP. So application 1 is SAP. But I'm also integrating SAP with other systems which basically means how do we make sure that SAP integrate with other systems how SAP integrate and send the data to salesforce.com if company using both then they will also like to test SAP they will also like to uh, test Ariba which is a separate software and they will also like to test how these two software interact, interject, talk, transfer information to each other. That is the system to system integration. User interface, making sure you're, the, when we are looking at the application, that looks fine. Its, fe its features are good. Various parameters which is required are good. Database, Testing in the database, normally test database, database level testing is done by coders. We have a proper tables, right number of tables. Tables have correct structure. Tables are used in correct manner, etc. So this is the gray box testing. Then we have a regression testing. Make a note of this term called regression testing. Make a note of this term called regression testing. Regression testing. Regression testing. make a note of this term called regression testing. Now what is the regression testing example? So let us say you have an application, any application for that matter, doesn't make a difference because these concepts are independent of what kind of application it is, whether it's an SAP or this or that or whatever, doesn't make a difference at all. So when we talk about the regression testing, so for example I'm using SAP. And in SAP, I'm using version 6.0. And now I upgrade my SAP to the new version. I apply patches and I upgrade 
to new version. So when I upgrade to the new version, I will also like to verify that after doing the upgrade, my existing business processes, functions, their performance, their reliability remain same. I do not want by upgrading the system, by applying the new patches, my existing application breaks down. Ensuring that what is working continue to work after our upgrade of the system and checking the system retroactively is an example of a re is an example of a regression testing is an example of a regression testing next one is a term called positive testing positive testing. Positive testing basically means system is performing as per the requirement. That is called regression uh, that is called positive testing. I need this business requirement. System is able to perform that business requirement that is called regression testing. That is called positive testing. Negative testing, that system is not doing what it is not supposed to do. So positive testing, it is doing what it's supposed to do. And negative testing means it is not doing what the system is not supposed to do. So positive testing and negative testing. Another one is unit test. I would like you guys to make a note of this term also called unit test. Uh, next week, Tuesday, I will be taking mock interview. So next week, Tuesday, and Wednesday would be mock interview session. Mock interview will be done individually. Is done. Yeah, that is wrong actually. What is given here is actually negative testing.
so positive testing and negative testing so next tuesday i'm going to do mock interview which will be for about 15 minutes each in the mock interview i will create time slots and we will have telephonic conversations an objective is objective is to verify requirements uh, verify the content i have covered is understood are we clear guys everybody clear all of you yes okay yes. wonderful going to positive testing and negative testing now we're going to talk about unit test now unit test is a specific set of a program so for example let us say i have a take an example of sap maybe so i have a purchase cycle in purchase cycle i am creating a purchase requisition is a unit test yes everything which i have covered plus which i am going to cover in next two days class so everything so unit test is the testing of a specific is the testing of a specific transaction so for example i'm testing how do we do purchase requisition how do we create purchase order how do we create sales order sales order is a unit if i'm testing just sales order unit test i'm just testing quotation unit test if i'm testing the whole scenario end to end that is a end to end test case so that is the difference between unit test and integration test so integration test so that is example of a unit test another one is gui testing means testing of graphical user interface gui basically means how application look like not the functionality the user interface i log in to a software when you log into the software when you look at it first and what i see in front of me that is called user interface graphical user interface and testing of that is called gui testing testing of that is called gui testing another one is uat i would like you guys to make a uh, note of this term called user acceptance testing and it's also called uat uat is uh, very commonly used some people also call it smoke testing so use user acceptance testing and the uat 
also called user acceptance testing as well. Okay. This is done by the business users. This testing is done by business users. So business users do this testing. They verify, they test every situation, every scenario, every positive, every negative, all different business situations are tested That is an example of user acceptance testing. So that is the last slide and that is the period that is the class for today and we will talk tomorrow and we will have class tomorrow which is Saturday and on Sunday same time. Thanks guys. Bye.